All right, guys, how's it going? So today I'm going to review the plugin called Wrapping Tools. It's by Rich Colburn. It's the same guy behind the modeling cloth add-on, so you know it's going to be on point. Now it's available free on GitHub, but I highly recommend you support your third-party developers. So let's just get straight into Blender. Now in traditional fashion, let's delete the cube. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to press Shift and A and I'm going to add in a UV sphere. So just so you know that I'm not cheating, I'm going to delete the default UV map. I'll jump into edit mode and I'm going to create a new seam. So essentially what I need to do is I need to rip the vertices. So I'll select edges and I'll just hold Alt and left click and I'll do a loop select. If I press Ctrl and V you can see here rip vertices. So we essentially get something like this. And I'll press right click just to drop it. I'll jump back into object mode and I'll come down to Extended Tools, which is essentially the plugin. Now the thing I'm concerned about at the moment is Create UV Shape. So essentially what it does is, it creates a new shape key and it creates a new UV map. And it kind of reminds me of ABF unwrapping, check this out. How cool is that? Check out the UV map here. Look at the UVs, that is beautiful. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create text and I'm going to place it right in the middle of the object and then I'm going to wrap it around the UV sphere. So I'm going to come to add text, I'll move this up so you can see what I'm doing. I'll press tab and I'll just type in something generic. And what I'll do here is I'll just give it a little bit of extrusion. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change this into a mesh. So I'll come to object, convert, Mesh from curve slash surface. Now I'm going to be a little bit cheeky here and I'm going to add in the modifier and I'm going to do a, a remesh modifier. If we check the wireframe with the text, it's not exactly ideal. So I'll add in a remesh modifier. I'll untick, remove disconnected pieces and I'll change it to something like smooth and I'll make it something like 7 depth. So we get something that kind of gives a rough estimate. The next thing I'm going to do is just roughly place the text in the middle. So something like this, and I'll just set it gently on the layer. Now in order to use the plugin, you need to select your text, and then select your source object by pressing shift. I'll come up to bind to surface, and then I'll enable scene update. And essentially that works in the background. Now check this out when I put the shape control up. How cool is that? I'm really impressed. <laughs> now because I've got the remesh modifier enabled on the text, I'm going to change this to blocks. I'll put the scale down a little bit. How cool is that? Now I'm not doing this plugin any justice. I highly recommend you download it. And again, I can't stress enough, please support your third party developers. Do me a favor guys, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, you know what to do, peace.